In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an absolutely cracked Netrunner Assassin in Cyberpunk 2077. I like to call this the Ninja Edge Runner. This build focuses on quick hacking and stealth to strike from the shadows and wipe out entire groups of enemies without being seen. This video will explore the exact perks, attributes, and gear you need to bring the Ninja Edge Runner to life. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. I make videos about RPGs and gaming commentary. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Big Dan Gaming. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So let's start off with attributes and key perks. This is what the build looks like around level 30. The main attributes to invest in are intelligence and cool. You'll want to max out intelligence at 20 and take cool up to 16. The rest of your attribute points you can invest however you see fit. I'm focusing on technical ability so I can hack through doors primarily. I'll probably throw a few more points into either body or reflexes later on as well. We're going to spend most of our perk points in the breach protocol and quick hacking categories. It's super important that we make our net running skills as effective as possible because we'll be heavily relying on it for most combat situations. We'll also pick up a few key perks from the ninjutsu category to increase our sneakiness and damage from stealth. So let's start with breach protocol. The most important perks are the mass vulnerability debuffs, which greatly reduce enemy defenses and increase your quick hack damage. You also want to reduce the RAM cost of various quick hacks by picking up efficiency, cloud cache, and total recall. Also, if you want a quick and easy money farming technique, then pick up these perks to maximize your eddy extraction from hacking access points. This type of hacking has been slightly nerfed in recent patches, but it's still one of the fastest ways to make lots of eddies in Cyberpunk 2077. The quick hacking perks are the most important perks for any type of Netrunner build, and this one is no different. The best ones for boosting our damage are Critical Error, Blood Wear, and Subliminal Message. We'll also want to focus on perks that give us RAM recovery in and out of combat. These are Master RAM Liberator, Bio Synergy, and Forget Me Not. We can further reduce the RAM cost of various quick hacks with the Weak Link and Mnemonic perks. Anamnesis is also really useful for making sure you never run out of RAM. If you want to invest in crafting quick hack perks, that is useful as well. You can often loot or buy the cheaper quick hacks, so I would focus on taking the perks that allow you to craft epic and legendary quick hacks first, and then spend on the lower tiers if you want to. The rest of the quick hacking perks are nice to have, but not strictly necessary for this build. Finally, let's talk about the ninjutsu perks because these will really help with the stealthy parts of our build. To me, the essential ones are Assassin, which increases damage to human enemies by 15%, Crouching Tiger, which increases movement speed by 20% while sneaking, Ghost, which increases the time it takes for enemies to detect you, and Strike from Shadows, which increases crit chance by 15% while sneaking. Hidden Dragon is also great because it allows us to perform Far Cry style takedowns from above. It's a little bit finicky though and isn't viable in a lot of combat situations because you're not always able to get above the enemy. As far as perks go, the rest of our build is pretty flexible, so spend your points however you see fit. We'll be heavily leaning on quick hacks to get us through combat, so let's talk about what quick hacks and cyberware we'll want to get for this build. My favorite quick hacks are Synapse Burnout and Short Circuit for quick, low cost, single target damage. The cooldowns are extremely short, so you can just spam these two attacks on repeat. Seppuku has a higher cost and longer cooldown time, but it can be fun to use, and even works on many of the mini bosses like Cyber Psychos. Cyber Psychosis is great for turning enemies against each other, kind of like a berserk mode. If you want to maintain stealth without killing your enemies, then Reboot Optics and Memory Wipe are useful quick hacks as well. But I don't really use these when I play the game. My favorite quick hack to use is Detonate Grenade. It's not exactly ninja-like, but it is really funny. 
Most of these quick hacks can be crafted or purchased from Netrunner merchants. Look for this little logo on your map to find them. In some rare cases, you can extract quick hacks from access points if you invested in the relevant intelligence perks. The final pieces to bringing this build together and maximizing its potential is our cyberware. So let's talk about the various mods we want to get, starting with our cyberdeck operating system. For the early game, we'll be using low-level cyberdecks like the Tetratronic Mark I and the Stevenson Tech Mark II. Once we hit Street Cred 30, we can pick up a better cyberdeck like the Raven MicroCyber Mark III. But our ultimate goal is to acquire the legendary Netwatch NetDriver Mark V, which can be purchased from the Wellsprings Ripper Dock once you hit 40 street cred. This thing sports a 30% damage boost for quick hacks and an insane RAM recovery rate of 9 RAM per minute. It also has 11 base RAM, which is the highest of any cyber deck in the game. It'll cost you 35,000 eddies, but it is well worth the money. Another great cyber deck is the Tetratronic Rippler Mark IV. This deck has a 45% cooldown reduction on all quick hacks and reduces the RAM cost of ultimate quick hacks by 3. You can purchase this operating system from the Soviet Ripper Dock in Charter Hill, just across the street from Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales' apartment. You'll need 30,000 eddies and 40 street cred to pick up this bad boy. As for other cyberware mods, the most important ones are going to be installed in the Frontal Cortex slot. You'll want to install X-Disc, Memory Boost, and Visual Cortex support. These will increase your base RAM, provide RAM recovery upon defeating enemies, and increase your crit damage. If you want to focus on crit more, you can swap Memory Boost for the Limbic System Enhancement, which increases your chance of landing a critical hit. For the integumentary, integumentary, integumentary system, you can pick up optical camo, which gives you an invisibility cloak and subdermal armor. For chrome legs, I like the reinforced tendons, which enables double jump, but you could also opt for Link's paws if you want to further increase your stealth. So now that we've got all the pieces of our build in place, let's see this build in action. So there you have it, the Ninja Edge Runner build in Cyberpunk 2077. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Cyberpunk and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.